Let's talk about Venom, The Last Dance. We are Venom. So we watched it. We're going to be giving our overall thoughts and giving it a score with no spoilers. And then we will be giving a spoiler warning and going into spoilers after that. So Alex, do you want to go ahead and start and give your overall thoughts and the score on Venom, The Last Dance? Yeah. You know, I actually enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed it about as much as I thought I would. I wasn't going in with high expectations, but I didn't I didn't dislike it. I know the Venom movies are kind of, they're very average. Some people think they're worse than average. That You kind of have to have the taste for the movies. You know, it's Eddie Brock and Venom. It's a, kind of a different take, but I've always kind of enjoyed the movies. I thought the second one, uh, Let There Be Carnage, uh, was probably the weakest one, in my opinion. But I, I, I thoroughly, I actually enjoyed it. I thought there's little character moments in this one that was serviceable for this kind of movie. I do think, obviously, it's average. There's problems. They could have ended this trilogy, quote-unquote, if they're not if they're not going to do any more, on a uh, better note. But I, I thought it was, I enjoyed it. Like, I would probably, I mean, on our scale, you know, five being average, I would probably give it a five. I thought it was, it was average, but I liked it. I didn't dislike it. Okay. Interesting. I don't think I like this movie as much as you did. I didn't have that high of expectations because like you said, the Venom movies and overall just the Sony Spider-Man movies um, recently have been, or just the Sony movies in general for superheroes have been pretty not great. I haven't seen some of them, but I've heard bad things. But I thought there were some good parts to this movie. I thought this movie was hard carried like most of the Venom movies have been by Tom Hardy. I thought he was absolutely Mm -hmm. the best part of the movie. He's a good Venom. The dynamic between Eddie and Venom is good, but I thought the plot of this movie made no sense. (laughs) Like there were some things they did in this movie that I was just like, why did they do that? And that just like throws out the last hour of the movie with that being important. I don't know. There were just some really weird choices. Mm -hmm. Also, they seem to like set up some things in this movie from the other movies and even some of the like Marvel Spider-Man stuff and then they just kind of threw it all away and just did something else yeah I I don't know no I get it there were some characters in this movie that didn't really need to be there it wouldn't change anything if they weren't there Mm -hmm. there definitely were some entertaining parts some of the action was cool but like I said I feel like this was hard carried by Tom Hardy and uh, the rest of it was just kind of pretty bad. So I gave this one a three. I was between a three or a four. I went with a three just because there's one thing that really bothered me in this movie that makes no sense, and we'll talk about it in the spoilers. Yeah, I mean, it's probably closer to your score. For me, I kind of turned off my brain. I know these movies aren't. Sure. After the second one, I knew this, like, I just, I knew the vibe of what the movie was going to be. Like, so it's it's definitely, I, I, I get what you're saying. The plot is, it's basically a, it doesn't know what it wants to be, but that's kind of all of the yeah. Venom movies. Like, it's a buddy road cop movie, but at the same time, it's supposed to be kind of like a, you know, doom end of the universe kind of thing. And then it's kind of, I don't know, then they introduce other things. So I, I totally get your point. Like, and you're 100% right. I just, there, there's something about it. It reminded me of like a little, like an old early 2000s kind of superhero movie that i don't know maybe it was just turn off my brain kind of comfort movie and i get that too my sister really likes the venom movies and i understand turning your brain off and really enjoying it just for even just if you just like eddie and venom together like they have some really good scenes yeah. and oh yeah the action looks cool that there wasn't any cg that was like oh that looks horrible you know it looked it looked good mm-hmm. so i get that too but just yeah, like I- <laughs> from it's a like, plot point it was oh, like, it's what yeah, it's is not going great. on <laughs> the odd part is they did focus on kind of like a random family a lot through the movie i didn't think it was going to be that much through the, throughout the movie they did yeah and it's like a whole plot line or almost part of the main plot almost <laughs> yeah that was a little weird i did like there's a couple moments small moments with eddie and like the little boy that i really liked so there was some like yeah i thought all the actors did great too even the the lady uh, what's what's her face? She was in uh, Ted Lasso, the scientist lady. Dr. Payne. So I think, mm-hmm. I mean, for, for what she did, she did okay. I mean, she didn't do a lot for her character, to be quite honest. Yeah, I have some questions about that character that we'll talk about <laughs> in the spoilers. But yeah, I guess we can get into spoilers because I'm trying to like skirt around things. But yeah, I totally get what you're saying. So spoiler alert for Venom, The Last Dance. So if you haven't seen it, if you like the other Venom movies, you'll probably enjoy this one a little bit so you can go see it. If you didn't like the other Venom movies, you probably won't like this one no <laughs> fair warning but, no uh, difference yeah. just be warned yeah be warned that we're going to be getting into spoilers so i do get what you're saying okay so first of all the main villain isn't even in the movie obviously yeah that was a little weird they're trying to do like a thanos type setup i guess but, yeah, but I feel like that works if he's, like, shown at the very end of the movie, mm-hmm. and then you're waiting, and, like, oh, that's gonna be so awesome. But they showed him right at the beginning, and then he just doesn't do anything. The beginning kind of felt tacked on. 
like it because the beginning was even before the opening marvel thing like it was there's a little monologue at the beginning yeah i feel like they like tacked that on like i don't know yeah and just to be clear it's null that we're talking about it could be cool I don't know much about him. He could be. But he could be cool, but, like, you literally didn't even see his face. Well, I guess until an after credit scene. Yeah. That part was weird. Like, why... You have, like, a, a character, a villain that everyone loves, like, at least in the comics. Why not utilize him now? You know, why, why are you trying to build something that you don't even... I think the building up stuff, I think people want... I think they're kind of sick of it. Like, people trying to copy Marvel. Like, I think you just need to throw in what you have. Yeah, and... I mean, there's a couple ways you can do it, but the way they did it just wasn't... Like, with Marvel, they built up Thanos as, like, this mythology over multiple movies, just, like, slow dripping it. But with Null, mm -hmm. they just kind of threw him in there. He's sitting on a chair. Then they cut back to him. He's sitting on the chair still. <laughs> and they cut back to him. He's just sitting there. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's just... Yeah, it's a weird way to do it. Also, did you know that Null as a character wasn't created until after the first Venom movie? I didn't know that, and I read that. So, I didn't know that either until after... Like I read after the movie, so like I knew Dude. who Noel was before the movie because I I had read mm -hmm. about it in the trailer, but I didn't know before the movie he was he wasn't created till after that, that which is crazy because people tend to like him. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, so Noel was kind of just there. Like when I first saw him, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But then that was about it. Yeah, like I was waiting for like, okay, is he, he's gonna okay, that's a cool introduction. Let's see, like when he actually gets to earth or whatever like what's gonna happen but it just never obviously happened you're basically fighting one monster pretty much yeah just one <laughs> I just mean, one eventually there's multiple of them but well, yeah at the very end they did make it seem pretty powerful that creature that was hunting venom but mm -hmm. also kind of stupid like so he could only see him when he was fully transformed right but then mm -hmm. as soon as he becomes untransformed, it's like a loss of object permanence. And it's like, oh, he's gone. Must not be here. Like, <laughs> he's, like there's <laughs> several times where he just transforms and the monster's just like, what? Where'd it go? And leaves. And I thought that was like, I couldn't pin down how smart this monster was because of that. Can't he still see like the outline or something of what he was looking at? They made it seem like that, but then made it seem like it didn't put two and two together that it's the same person yeah it was weird i don't understand i didn't understand that it was like the monster like you said was kind of cool yeah and I, for some reason i thought he was sending more to earth to find it. i didn't think it's just one i think what it did is he sent a bunch of them out into the universe to mm -hmm. look is what i got from that first scene and yeah then just one went to earth and then after it was like confirmed then he sent more that's kind of how i saw it but it wasn't really explained but the monster like confirmed it in the first five minutes of the movie, so why wouldn't? What was the difference between Noel knowing then and compared to at the end of the movie? Great question. No idea. <laughs> yeah, it was like days and days went by. Why wouldn't you? If you if you confirmed it was on Earth, why wouldn't you have sent the rest? They wanted a big end to the movie. Almost, That's pretty yeah, much why. <laughs> bringing the other ones to Earth almost kind of ruined it. They should have just had that single one because then, yeah, that ruins the. Like, why didn't they do that earlier? So, what were your negatives? Like, your main points. So, the biggest thing that bothered me in this movie was... So, after the monster, like, found him and he was running away, there were several times where, like, one of them said, either Eddie or Venom, like, oh, we can't fully transform or else it'll see us and it'll know exactly where, where we are. So, he wasn't really in Venom form very much for that bit. But then they get to Vegas... And mm -hmm. he finds Mrs. Chen, and Venom just decides to fully transform for a full three-minute dance with Mrs. Chen, which to yep. me is like, that makes no sense. You've been talking about how that will get you found immediately, and it just like yeah. throws out the whole point of them not transforming, which the best part of Venom is when he's fully transformed and fighting and mess uh -huh. messing people up. So it's like, well, we could have had the first half of the movie be more interesting, or... It could have actually had stakes, but they did the less interesting part in the first half and then threw yeah. away all the stakes. <laughs> yeah. And then the monster finds them, gets there, he transforms back and it just leaves. Yeah. And then the military finds them. Like, it just, I don't understand the points of any of that. I think what you're saying, like, why they should have just been traveling as Venom and then if they see the monster in distance, just unvenom. <laughs> Yeah, and then you know when the monster goes away yeah <laughs> <laughs> no and the thing is i don't even mind the um and even mind the dancing like i i've come to know that this is what venom's gonna be that cheesy dancing like that sure but in the context i i agree that ruins that kind of moment yeah it just the dance i didn't even mind because i mean it's called the last dance sure they do a dance whatever it's kind of corny but what, whatever, but the fact that he transformed after refusing to transform multiple times before that just to dance was... Uh -huh. it, it 
it annoyed me. <laughs> it was so weird. Yeah. Well, okay. So there's a, your biggest negative there. So how did you feel about the, the characters? N- not Venom yeah. and Eddie Brock. Tell me if you felt this way. I felt like they were setting up Dr. Payne for something way more important than she was. Because they did oh, like God, a yeah. backstory with her yeah. getting struck by a lightning. A dream or flashback, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And there were some of her lines where like even the military guy looked at her like, are you crazy? That's uh-huh. like kind of evil. Yeah. So it felt like they were setting her up to be like a bad guy or really important to the end game of the movie but then just like she transforms once for like five seconds and saves one person and yep. that's it so i don't know if they were gonna do something else or what was going on with that character it just felt weird i agree because the whole movie I'm like oh so this this lady is gonna like betray humankind in some way because she has yeah. such a fascination for these uh, symbiotes and i was expecting that too and then even at the end, you know, she obviously found the vial in like the last yep. 20 minutes, but she like nothing happens of it until, the, like you said, like one second in like the last five minutes of the movie. Yep. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, that was, it was so weird. And her character was fine. Like I, I found her kind of interesting. Like she's a good person, but like she's almost too fascinated with these things. Yeah. So like I found her interesting. She's an interesting character because she's like supposed to be a good guy, right? Like she's a good person, but she's too fascinated with the symbiotes. Like. And so, like, I kind of found that interesting. Uh, her, her little scientist partner, to be honest, kind of was just saying what she should have been saying. Like, it almost feels like this, the, her partner was had more dialogue than she did. Yeah, they also focused on her a lot, too, in weird situations where it would, like, zoom in on something that we had no yeah. backstory for. And she was, like, looking at it longingly. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's Christmas. Yeah, I I, I, I know exactly what scene you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, like, what is this? It was so random. <laughs> it was, and then it didn't really I come up again. I thought like a point to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. It, it felt like they had a movie made, realized they didn't like it, and then chopped it up and made a completely different movie and just used some scenes. I don't know. It was... It was weird. So the scientist people were okay. It all like it all did feel generic, right? Like it felt like an early two thousands. It did. Yep. I thought they were gonna do a, a lot more with like with the toxin symbiote because he looked really cool and was like kind of floating or like the group the like teal one and he was like a character in the other movies oh yeah Mm -hmm. but then when it finally kicks off he just like saves venom real quick and then dies (laughs) and i don't know there was just a lot of Mm -hmm. stuff that seemed built up that didn't really pay off I was kind of seeing that maybe I was overthinking it, but like even the military guy after like Venom, you know, he got his team killed and he kind of got angrier and angrier and he's like, I'm taking charge. I'm I'm going to kill Eddie. I actually thought he was going to be like so blinded by rage. She would like take a vial and try to kill him or something. Yeah, I like, I kind of felt that way at a point too. Yeah. I'm like, oh, maybe he's going to end up being the big bad and he's going to like just be, become what he didn't want to become just to kill Eddie. <laughs> yeah. But nope, he was just there to activate the <laughs> the machine at the end. <laughs> uh huh. So yeah, I, like, like your three out of 10, it does make sense. It, it really does. I just, uh, and like the, the end know. fight that was just... like, it was kind of cool. It looked cool. It, I felt like it could have been cooler though. Like you have all these symbiotes. It should have been like, an Avenger of symbiote moments. Yeah, you know? like, but it just wasn't built up right. I, I didn't get that feel. Yeah, Mm-mm. and you didn't really see like their like their characterization of like each symbiote. Like you, they all, you didn't really get to see their personalities. Like if you didn't read yeah. the comics, you don't know their name. You don't know like what they mm-hmm. can do. There's they maybe show off yeah. their powers for like two seconds, and then it cuts to a different one. I thought the best action scene was with the horse and the chase at the towards the middle or beginning of the movie. I thought that was yeah. I was surprised that was a good action scene. That went so quick though. Like it felt like they mm-hmm. really went with that in the trailer as like being a big point of the, oh, with like, the horse horse, yeah. and then it felt like it was over oh, so for sure. fast. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh god, yeah! It, it was like a, it was probably like a ten-minute section of the movie, maybe not, maybe not even. But like that whole chase scene, I thought was pretty cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, how did you feel about? You mentioned it a little bit before the spoilers. The the family that he spends a good um, chunk of the middle of the movie with. I don't know. So I I liked it initially. Like I I was like, okay, it's you know they're they're going to Area Fifty One. It's these kind of nut and hippie kind of family, but they're good mm-hmm. people. Like I I. It was interesting, and then he needed a ride. Like, it was a good segue to him needing a ride. You know, he found them in the woods after that chase. So, like, I'm like, okay, this makes sense. This is why they showed this family. And Mm -hmm. even that car ride, I thought there was really good scenes. Like, his scene with the kid, the kid's like, I don't want to, I don't want aliens to be real. And his dad's obsessed with seeing one. And The best acting in this movie felt like it was done by that kid. (laughs) 
<laughs> like when he was like scared yeah. and like, wow, okay, mm-hmm. that's an actual good acting performance. It felt like, but it's by the yeah, kid. he did good. <laughs> Yeah, he did good, man. Props to that kid, because I was convinced. And, like, I really liked... This is kind of where they start going a little deep, but then they, they don't go deep enough, where you can see Eddie wants a family, he wants a kid, and Venom's yeah. like, you'd be a great dad, like, you did good, you know? Like, there's moments like this where it feels like it wants to be a deeper movie. Yeah, I agree. And then it just it's just not. But, like, I thought that car ride scene was probably one of the best scenes, actually. I thought that was yeah. a really good, quiet scene. Like, and then and they the- got to Vegas... The singing part, too, I enjoyed the singing with the family and Eddie kind of, like, refusing to sing. Like, the family was, like, quirky and kind of interesting. The ending didn't really make sense with them being there, but that's whatever. But, like, the middle part with the family I thought was pretty good, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like, I thought once they got to Vegas, you were done seeing them, and that I would have been totally fine with that. I mean, I guess it, I guess it makes sense that they made it to Area 51, because that's what they're trying, but I guess, like, does it really have to be at the same exact time? And them breaking in was weird. I feel like a weird choice. Yeah. Like, I didn't think those parents would allow their kids to break into Area 51. That seemed a little weird. Also, I know they decommissioned Area 51, but would they really have no one there that, like, soon? Probably not. <laughs> no. Like, no guards, nothing that soon? Like, it's only been, what, a week or whatever? If even... I still, I don't think it was fully decommissioned. I think the next day they Actually, were Actually, it wasn't, to... because they, they still use the acid crap. They wouldn't just leave that sitting there. Right. So, yeah, yeah. that makes even less sense, but... <laughs> <laughs> whatever yeah so yeah, that's what i mean like when you start digging into the plot and everything it is so dumb like <laughs> the three out of ten i truly do there's just moments the quirkiness like i like the dance scene if it wasn't for the whole stupid like we can't change into venom or else the thing sees us i like it it's a different take like i wish i still wish there was a serious venom movie like where we like a like in spider-man 2 the game you know like i would prefer that but like this and people will say i'm the problem because i you know i'm seeing these movies and giving them the money but i still think this is entertaining like it's i still i'm still entertained yeah if you turn your brain off i see that yeah that's what i mean i mean i'm if i'm there's two sides my critical side where i agree with you it's this this movie's really not good like (laughs) it's not i do think there's good pieces like we mentioned the acting and the small moments of of heart that it does have but i think overall it's not good but you know what i'm turning my dumb critic brain off i had no expectations it was a it was a fun enjoyable movie for me if you turn off your brain the only part that I thought was overly cheesy. Okay, I, this is what I was going to bring up next. Go ahead. It was the montage at the end. Yep. <laughs> and, it's, and you're seeing scenes that just happened like 20 minutes ago too. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Not only that, I totally agree with that, but also there were some scenes that just Venom was in. There was when he was doing the DJ, yeah. like Eddie wasn't even there. <laughs> yeah. How would he know that scene? Yeah, it made no sense. <sighs> <laughs> and then the song to it uh, the song was a corny was, choice yeah i'm all for cheesiness but th- that was that was like deadpool cheesy but deadpool knows what it's supposed to be this yeah. doesn't that part felt like the people who made the movie went and saw deadpool saw that end scene and was like oh that was really good we should do that for venom and then just tried to do it like shot for shot without the like i don't know without <laughs> thinking was, about it too much oh that, that was so i'm all for the cheese man but that was like <laughs> I, I feel like it was purposely cheesy, but like it, th- this Venom isn't, they don't know what they are that good. Like, come on. Uh, it was funny though. But yeah, I mean, like you, you, you mentioned it perfect when, before the spoilers, if, if you like the other two movies or somewhat enjoyed it, you'll probably somewhat enjoy this one too. If you didn't like the other ones and stare, steer clear of this, that's about as good as a description as you think. It. <laughs> yeah. I kind of like the other two. Uh, so I like, I kind of like this one. I think the first Venom's still the best one. I agree. I like the first one the best. I think they just kind of, well, I don't know if they got worse or the first one was the best think, and then it went downhill and stayed downhill. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to go back and I feel like people liked it. the second one, but I remember being very disappointed in the second one. Yeah. For having a character like Carnage and having like an actor like Woody Harrelson playing Carnage, I remember I was disappointed. Yeah, it should have been better but, for sure. And I do agree with you that another fault with this third one is is you really do hardly see like full Venom. Yeah, unless he's dancing with Mrs. Chen. <laughs> yeah, unless he's dancing yeah, exactly. <laughs> And maybe, I don't know, maybe he has a different amount of screen time as the first two, but this one, it really felt less for some reason. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I mean, five out of ten for me, three out of ten for you, you know. Average it's definitely <laughs> average to below average. Mm-hmm. Yeah, average of four, exactly. I know this is supposed to be in a trilogy, but do you think he'll be back to play Venom again? They left it open. There was that little symbiote at they the did. end. And I know Tom Hardy did say he would love to fight Spider-Man. It's another dropped opportunity. Why do you yeah. have a movie 
leading up to go to New York and you don't even show like a glimpse of like, or like something on a screen or Spider-Man swinging yep. randomly. Like you're in New York. Like you, you finally got Eddie Brock to New York. You finally got him to New York. That's one of the main reasons. I think they'll bring him back for something, but you never know with Sony. They set these things up and then like they, okay. One of the things is they set up Venom being in the Marvel universe, right? And then at oh, the very yeah. beginning of this movie, they just yank them back to the other universe and they're like, the biggest gaslight ever, bro. <laughs> yeah. The biggest Marvel gaslight ever. You never know with Sony. So another thing too, and they really didn't, I mean, I guess they kind of at the end, but that whole, I, I didn't understand why, why did they take that guy from the bar at the beginning? I didn't understand that. I don't know. They made a whole thing like that's going to be storyline, like come with us and you never see him again. Yeah. Until well, the end credit scene. Yeah. Until after, the end credit, after credit scene. Like, I, I found that odd. Yeah, that was odd. I don't know. I just don't get why they would... If they're just looking for the... I just didn't get I just didn't get it. Why did they have to take him? You didn't seem to take no one else. It would have made a little more sense if, like, he got... If the symbiote, like, attached to him and maybe he was going to be a symbiote in, in a further one. But, like, yeah, he yeah. ran away and then it showed the symbiote. They didn't need to have him there. It felt like they just played it for that yeah. one chuckle after the credits. Like, uh -huh, yeah. oh, haha, he's been there the whole time. Funny. <laughs> I don't get it. And I do, I mean, I, why, why do you, and this is like a Marvel and a Sony thing, I guess, but why do you tease Venom finally going into the MCU? And then what was the point of that? And then you just bring him right back. I don't get no the point idea. of that. That was like, there was zero point to get people all excited about that. Even in the beginning of this movie, he's technically still in the MCU. Yeah, true. Like maybe there were some so contract it, talks and they're like, okay, we'll do this in the next one. And then it fell through. And it's just some of that corporate BS that like, ruin that but i don't know it feels really weird as a fan watching it like being yanked around like that like i totally get like if they want a little easter egg but why do you like it's been years since the last the last time like he's been in the and people think he's yeah. in the mcu like well until the trailer came out we all assumed that he wouldn't be there but like right it wasn't one of those things where like they pulled him back out of the mcu right in the after credit scene if i remember correctly well obviously not right or Dude, I don't remember, actually. Did they pull him back I out? I thought so, but then they pulled him out in this movie, have. too. So, I don't and maybe, know. Maybe this is just a recreation of that scene, just more in depth. Possibly. So, Because I actually think, I thought they pulled him out of it, too, now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I still don't get that tease. But maybe it's for the better, because... Actually, that's crazy now that I think about it. We haven't had an MCU Venom yet. Huh? Nope. Well, like, yeah, MCU, not, like, obviously right. the old Spider-Man. Maybe someday. We've never had Carnage... Well, besides the second movie, but I don't know. <laughs> Carnage was always my favorite Spider-Man villain as, as a kid, just because he's so insane. Yeah, oh, they could have done him so good, but this movie... I know, I, I remember being disappointed in the second one. Yeah. Because from because I read some Carnage comics, and like there was points where you know Spider-Man and, and Ben have to team up to kill Carnage. Like, yeah, that would have been cool. He's powerful and crazy. Yeah. <laughs> one day, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. It but would be cool anyway. if this Venom was in some other Spider-Man thing or some other movie with different writers. I feel like they, they could use him way better, but this writing team just did not seem up to it. Yeah, well, what they should have done, and I actually read one of the reviewers said this, they should have had a big tease at the end where, like, when he is at New York, you do see Spider-Man, and it's, it's like Andrew Garfield Spider-Man or something. That like, would be cool. that's his universe. Yeah. And, like, that way you wouldn't be messing with the MCU, and you would get, you know, a Spider-Man back, and you could have andrew garfield's kind of universe yeah that would have like been how, interesting how awesome would that have been like after that stupid montage <laughs> he's walking <laughs> through the streets and like you know you either see spider-man swinging or maybe you see like i don't know see so yeah, something on the screen about spider-man and see like andrew garfield watching it or something i don't know they could have had like something like that would have been i mean let's be real a little teaser like that would have bumped my score point or two just because <laughs> sure <of> that. <laughs> <laughs> sure <laughs> would have given us something to look forward to but nope no no hint of spider-man at all in three movies of a venom movies <laughs> venom movie that's sony for you i don't i don't get it i understand maybe the first one you want to introduce if you're trying to do like a although venom's origin story is so intertwined with peter parker i just it, it kind of didn't even make sense before but still i don't know yeah <laughs> not once dude in three movies nope uh, but anyways yeah i guess that's enough about venom venom took enough of our time yeah like we said before if you like the other ones you'll probably like this one if you didn't probably stay away from this one i think that's a mm -hmm. good way to to say it 